What's up, socialites? Welcome to the Social Studies Podcast with me, Joe Dombrowski. And me, Casper Andazzo. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Let's my see God. here. Coming up, we have my motherfucking tour dates. I'm going to be in. Uh, this is the parts that we usually edit out when it takes us too long. Where none of us are Next prepared weekend. for anything that's about to happen. Next weekend, I'm at Royal Oak at Royal Oak Music Hall. Oh, can I tell everybody what happened this weekend really quick in Buffalo? Sure. Um, <laughs> you guys, I was in Buffalo, and I did my show, and... Like, after the, first of all, I did all my new material, because one of the number one comments on the special is people are like, is it, if I come see you live, is it just going to be this again? No, you dumb bitch. What are you fucking talking about? No, it's all new. Like, I'm a professional kind of woman. So, I, same. So, I did all my new material, slayed. The club manager, thanks, two of you. The club manager comes in right after and he goes, uh, Joe, Mr. Brian Regan's here to see you. I was like, what the hell? He's a comedian. Came to watch my show and he had beers after. He was so complimentary of it and I'm like, I'm doing all right. (laughs) Yeah, but after that, I'm going to be at Royal Oak Music Hall in Michigan. This pertains to literally nobody here. Um... Tempe, that's Arizona, you guys. Um, Raleigh, Lexington, Kentucky, Portland, Vancouver, Seattle, Milwaukee, Appleton, Fort Wayne, Providence, Rhode Island, um, Magoobies is in Timodium, Maryland? Baltimore, Baltimore. Sounds like, yeah, Timodium, Imodium. Um, Rochester, Salt Lake City, Vegas, Dania Beach, Florida, which uh, let's hope I don't get hate crime. Uh, DC, Calgary, Spokane, Pittsburgh, Denver, and that's it until my wedding. Holy shit. And uh, I'll be here some other places too. All right, so well, I want to get into stuff, you know? All right, I'll be, I'll put it online. Um, I'll also, but for you guys that are here, I'll be in Long Island soon. I'll be in New Jersey soon. And so, are you coming to Long Island? You're doing a show in Astoria? What? You're doing a show in Astoria? Oh, you're going to Astoria? Oh. Oh. Well, I'll be there in like two weeks. Um, So I'll see you there. Or maybe not. Um, We have so much to talk about. So, yeah. So, all right. So really quick, guys, just so you know, last night I was like to Joe, I was like, oh, shit, we haven't prepared at all for this. Like, what should we do? And then he's like, all right, we'll have a meeting later. So then we had a meeting, which was no meeting at all. And we just, this is what we came up with. So I have on, I do all my notes on a piece of sticky note. Oh, me too. Can I go with, so, can I go with my first note? Sure. My first note. They're gonna, you guys were going to find this so funny. The number one comment on the special is people addressing me as Joey Music. <laughs> Oh, my podcast listeners are here. They're Good. Here. Yeah. Also, guys, we want to say thank you, guys, because this is amazing. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this, so it's really cool that you know all you guys came out. Because this is different than stand up. I know. All that there's stuff, men. So. I wasn't expecting men. <laughs> hey. Just husbands. Husbands. Yeah. So. No. But uh, so thank you guys for coming because we appreciate that. So. When you, if you wonder, like, what goes on behind the curtain on the podcast, this is literally what's on my desk, and Joe has that on his, and then we don't look at them at all, and we just Oh, and this is an emails-only episode, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we do have an email. That's what the laptop's for, which we'll probably never get to. So, Joe, I have a note. Um, first off, thank you for complimenting me on my sweater. I didn't. I know. <laughs> So I bought this sweater recently. It was so comfortable. I bought all 10 colors in Target. This sweater was, how much do you think? Mm, $9. $13. Wow, you splurged. I splurged because the cotton's soft. And I bought, 10, I bought 10 colors of this. So, no. Okay. Uh, now I'm nervous. No, I'm just kidding. The, the what? I don't know what that means. Um, I are you asking today, a cable question? Here in New York, there's posters all over the place for PETA. Have you ever heard of it? Oh, I've heard of PETA. I know, like Sarah McLaughlin, we're doing this for free. But did you know that cashmere's made out of goats? I thought cashmere was rabbit. 
I thought it was from a cashmere Why are they plant? looking at me like I'm a fucking idiot? <laughs> no, cashmere's made out of goats, and apparently I they it was slit silk. their throats and pull their you, hair out. Do you know that I read it on the side of a building. Do you know that silk comes from a worm? I did know that silk comes from a worm. And do you know that when I was in China... This is not did you know. This is social studies. <laughs> wait, wait, no, but when I was in China, this guy said to me, he goes, oh, you know, you could tell the difference between a silk... I don't... He was speaking Chinese, so I don't know 100%, but he said... <laughs> wow, just subtle racism embedded into the stash. That I... Don't speak Chinese. He was speaking Chinese. Honestly, can't say Chinese. <laughs> he was speaking a foreign language that I don't speak. And I was can't in China. Foreign. <laughs> so I was in a country where no one spoke English. And Literally, just go cast your Trump vote while you're at it, Gasper. I'm kidding. Everyone I, calm down. I, I, I don't know if York. I like being able to hear them. <laughs> don't say Staten Island under your breath. I'm right here. <laughs> okay, I won't cut you off. I don't remember the point of the story. You're telling me about the sweatshirt that's so Oh, so he good. said the way you could tell about silk, if it's real or not, is if you take a flame and you hold it, if it's real silk, it just, like, evaporates. So you'll never actually know. <laughs> well, you'll know, but it's gone. You just won't have it. So, like, right. you know internally. Beautiful. Also, guys, my arms are killing me, and so oh are Joe's. My arms because, are me, too. So, obviously, you can see we had some merch. So we bought it. It got delivered to my house, and it came in these six giant boxes. So I said, oh, Joe, we'll bring it to the thing. I parked in the wrong parking lot. So I'm, like, three blocks away. And then I was like, oh, Joe, meet me by my car, and we'll carry the boxes. So the two of us carried these three boxes. And, like, I'm much stronger than Joe. But um, so Joe took more because he's taller because his arms could go long. But here's the funny part. The boxes were up past my head, and I couldn't see him, so then I lowered the boxes and still couldn't see him. So I was, it was just like, where is that little man? And I just walked, and I'm like, Joe, left. Now go right. Right, right, right. And then the boxes fell. Boom. We were in Chelsea Market. People, no one offered to help in true New York fashion. And we were just kicking the boxes all the way here. Yeah, so a couple so of please... those shirts come with a side of E. coli. So, just so you know. They did, people did offer to help. We That's true. never take so please. Please buy it because we can't carry it back. Okay, My arms are broken. Oh, I so I have a story. You just so. you did one and then I'll do one. You just did the sweatshirt lighting on fire followed by boxes falling on the New York streets. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> do you want a kind of crazy one or yes. do you want one that happened like yesterday? Crazy. Crazy? Crazy. crazy. Don't not, ask me. It's like kind of sad, but a little oh. alarming. I hope I could cry. I get done with the Brian Regan situation, right? And I go back to my hotel room. And my parents are constantly asking me, like, they're so fascinated with everything that's going on in my life. They're always like, what's going on? Like, who, what are, what are you meeting? When is, is your special get sold? Like, they asked me that so many times, which is why I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube. So they, Brian came to the show. So I was like, oh, I'll call them, wake them up. This will be exciting for them. He's one of their favorite comedians. I call them. My mom wakes up out of a dead sleep. And my dad, she gives the phone to my dad. And I'm like talking to my just my dad, which is weird, because usually my mom's chirping around in the background. And, I'm, and then I said something to her. And he's like, oh, she just walked away for a minute. And I'm talking to him. And he's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And all of a sudden, he goes, Fran, oh, my god, oh, my god. I gotta go, and hangs up the phone. And I'm like, oh, fuck, right? I was so freaked out. Didn't hear from them for 15 minutes. I call back and my dad was like, um, the ambulance is here. I'll call you back when we figure out what was going on. Apparently my mom like fell, passed out in between the bathroom, started foaming at the mouth because she got bit by a bear. Oh, that part's a lie. Oh, um, I'm like, what? No, she did. She fell in between the bathroom and just like her eyes rolled back in her head and they had to get her and go get her and pick her up. And apparently that's a sign of COVID. She had COVID. Wait, isn't that crazy? Are you, you telling can... her this? Yeah. <laughs> Put her into that. Brian Regan gives you COVID, actually. It's kind of crazy. No, so I... Um, is she okay? Now yeah, that I'm making fine. fun of it, uh, No, she she's okay? fine. She's like already over the COVID. But oh, yeah, okay. it was COVID. Isn't that weird? That is Vaxxed weird. and boosted and still got the COVID. Foam and the foam? No foam. The foam was alive. But oh. yeah. Yeah, I'm just picturing her like feral. Isn't that wild? But that scared the shit out of me. Because I was like, here I am in this Buffalo hotel room. Like, what am I going to do? I would have went. Okay. I have a wedding to pay for. <laughs> I had to stay. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, but she's okay? She's okay. All right, I'm They're happy. both okay. They're quarantined in oh, two different they? rooms of the house. Yeah. Oh, that's my dream. Yeah. So, um, 
So, what's your next story? Um, all right. So, as some of you know, we talked about catalytic converters on the podcast, and we were like, ha, 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 that only happens on TV. Yeah, it doesn't. So, in real life, it's 3:30 in the morning, 3:43 to be exact. Um, it was 3:43, and I thought my ice maker was making noise. So my wife's like, "Babe, the ice maker. What's that noise?" I go, "It's the ice maker. We're fine." All of a sudden. That was it. So we wake up in the morning. I go to start my car. I put my daughter in the car. I put the engine, the key in the engine, and it was like, boom! And it was like a jet engine. My daughter's screaming. So I was like, don't worry, babe. I was like, it's just cold. I don't know. I was just trying to make her feel better. I was like, it's just the air in the thing. I don't know. I thought someone put a ball in my uh, exhaust pipe. You know how people do that? Yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe that happened. So, no? You never put a ball in someone's exhaust pipe? I'm not from Staten Island. <laughs> That's actually a Brooklyn thing, okay? So, and a Queens thing for sure. So, I Wait, so, what does it do? Just make like makes it your, like fucks their car up. Yeah. It sounds like it would kill you cuz the gases it, would yeah, go it in does. the car. Yeah, it does. It kills you. No, I'm just I'm kidding. I don't do that. So, I it makes like a noise. It's funny. Hilarious. So, <laughs> We have different versions of fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, babe, da-da. so then my wife screamed, like, we gotta go. So thank God my mom had COVID, so she wasn't. Your mom had COVID too? <laughs> yes. Well, not thank God. I'm, she's fine. Um, Wait, your mom had COVID. Our my moms, moms got COVID at the same time? Brian Regan. Whoa. <laughs> oh. So I'm like, Ma, I'm like, it's like 648. So I'm like, Ma, I gotta go. I'm, I'm coming to get your car. So I, she lives right down the block from me. I get her car. I drive to work. I get to work. So I get home from work. And then I'm checking my cameras. Four guys drove by my house. Then they stopped. They rewound. Uh, you know, they reversed. <laughs> they rewound. They, they, they came, rewound? <laughs> they rewound themselves. So these guys were on a VHS tape. Well, my camera's a VHS. So they came back. Can't want them all. They all jumped out of the car. They popped the trunk literally in 30 seconds. So we were like, ha, ah, how funny that happens. They literally got out. They went under the car. They were like, doop, doop. What a, ow, fuck. What was that? I broke my tooth. On the, on the microphone? No, I'm fine. Let me see. Yeah, you're fine. Oh. You're good. Okay. Thanks. Ezra, edit it so, out. Edit it out. <laughs> That's just so, what we do. By the way, when, we, when shit happens, we just look at the cameras and we go, edit hey, it out, edit it out. Please don't put that. Yeah. Um, so they came back. They all jumped out. Within 25 seconds, they buzzsawed my com- catalytic converter and they just took it. They buzzsawed Threw it in their it. trunk wow. and drove away. And I got my car back yesterday. It was, mm. cost me $1,000. <laughs> so, but it was worth it. Well, <laughs> no, honestly, because like I made their night, so Kay. I'm happy for them. Because <laughs> in reality, they picked me. <laughs> of all the cars on the block, they could have chose anyone, but they took chose well, me. Apparently, I think I heard that, and this isn't intentionally a read, but I heard, <laughs> I, I, get, I swear to God, I heard this. Like I heard that they mainly take catalytic curvers from the shitty cars. <laughs> So it's not the shitty cars. What happens is they take it from older models. My cars are 2016. So, but they told me, they go, oh, you could buy this device, right? The device is $900. It protects your catalytic converter from getting stolen. What? But my insurance, my deductible was only $500. The other, pro- I had other problems too. So that's what cost $900. But, uh, so they were like, oh, you could get this installed. I said, what are the chances they're going to steal it from me again? So I'm not cutting that. You know, if I get robbed again, then I'm like, shit. I'm going to go ahead and go out of the limit and say you, it probably will happen. No, twice. no, because, no, because I'm going to, I have a, I'm going to put like, Traps on the Me car. too. What do you want your trap plan to be? I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna. You put, guys, did you hear about the traps that I had for my port travers? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, we had a port traver issue for a while, and Morgan wouldn't let me buy a rhinoceros gun, which is one of those guns that shoots out the nets that goes. He said it was a liability in case they um, accidentally got strangled. But he did say that I was allowed to insert floodlights in the trees across the house and go to the pond and record pound, I meant pound, and record like the Rottweiler section of them just embarking and that was gonna play. So if you tried to steal my shit, floodlights, Rottweilers, ah. You got like the Home Alone set I know, what's yours? I was just gonna put like a fucking knife that fell on the hand. Gasper. Like a guillotine. That's New York, thank you. New York gets me, Joe. They're more on my side. With your you. life is your life is literally fascinating. Like as I was like walking around, I was like walking around in New York this week. I've been here since Sunday, 
Every inch of this place is occupied by someone. If it's not a person, it's a person. And if it's not that person, it's a rat or a roach or, or something. Or someone taking a shit. Oh my God, the cockroaches here are enormous. Yeah. And they fly. No, I don't. Only fly. in the schools. Only in the schools. That's a big thing. That's in crazy. School. In the schools, they fly because they have to get from also class to class. Also, the hotel, like every hotel room is so expensive. And they're like I don't know. smaller than this stage. Oh, like, I never wow. stayed in a hotel in Manhattan. Because you live here. <laughs> okay. That's, Sorry. Yeah. Um, well, I have one more story. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I saw, and then we'll get into some emails. Oh, by the way, we're going to do live live crazy stories. We'll, we can still keep you anonymous, but we do have a microphone. So here's the And we thing. have gifts. While we do our next two stories and a real email, you can think about what yours might be. Just so you know, this is not a conversation. So it's still like the podcast. Keep it short and sweet. And then if we have further questioning as you're on trial, we'll ask. Um, and we probably will, because we always seem to have questions. Went to three Broadway shows this week. Three Broadway shows this week. I saw... Wait. One, two, three. Went to four Broadway shows this week. You've been here for two days. I saw Titanic, which is great. Is that Titanic for French people? You would know because you're a straight person. And... What is it? Is it Little Titanic? No, it's Titanic. And it is so... Come on. Yes, Miss Honey. Listen. Titanic. It is a Titanic... Can you finish the spelling? Titanic. Eek. Titanic. Titanic. Is it about the Titanic? It is the Titanic parody through Celine Dion's point of view. Thank you. And I do have to tell you something, too. The cast recognized me from the stage and there are these moments where they like come and interact with you and like one time they like came and like sat by me and they were like hugging me and like doing some shit and then at this other part they were like you hearts you hearts and I was like is this real um Jody then, realized they do that to everybody them. I messaged them after and I said thank you so much for a such great show they're like we're big fans thanks for coming and I was like this is great the audience of Titanic looks like the second coming of pride just so you know I'm not gonna lie I'm actually more confused than I was when you started this story it's through the point of view of Celine Dion the singer of my heart will go on it, yeah, it's like it's a gay cultural phenomenon but like, what, what did she have to do with Titanic she, she narrated it was like literally if, ta- if Celine Dion was on the Titanic she, and she was telling you how this shit went down in her crazy as Celine Dion went the as the greatest singer in the world yeah, it's like the soundtrack with details in the gayest way imaginable. There's so okay. much gay reference. I, w- I, just, I need to Dion's take still, you. Is she in it, the show? The real Celine Dion, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's all, she's better. Hey, she's so great. She's oh, doing she's well. Dead? Yeah, she's in. She's not Gasper. Oh, you just. You literally don't know about Celine Dion. I do. Celine, she's not doing so hot. She's having a rough time, but she's great. She's still doing interviews. Singing her heart out, it'll go on, and um, and she'll drive all night for you. Um, also, Didn't get either of those references. Second show I saw was, and this one you guys have to see before it's off Broadway. Blew me away, Guttenberg. Gutenberg. Well, I think they pronounced it. Maybe they did pronounce Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Okay. Well, I'm not going to trust you on the pronunciation of things, but... We're in New York. It's Gutenberg. Guten Gutenberg's in Seattle. Yes. And then it's so good. Um, it is two guys. It's a play with... A, I'm not even going to say it. Just go see it. I don't want to ruin it. It's the most unique shit you've ever seen. They're like creating a play as you're watching it, but it's a musical. It's Andrew and Nellis and Josh Gad, and they are just like it, uh, unbelievable together. What is everybody on? I don't like are those people. Like you all girls know? meets Frozen. <laughs> what? Yeah. So. Yeah, but they're like explaining that as it was gonna. Be. That's all I'm gonna say. Go see it. The Can't next wait. one I saw was Shucked. It was great. High level of talent. High level of talent. Very good. Very campy. It's about corn, you just right? Wanna, it's it's literally. This is what I'm gonna say. Did you see it? Yeah. yeah. Shucked is <laughs> Backwoods the Music Man. That's what it is. It's Backwoods, <laughs> Omaha the Music Man. Like literally that. Like, Did you see it? Is it not Backwoods the Music Man? It's like it's Hillbilly Music Man. It's like the music Mima, if you will. That's what it is. 
I've actually never seen Music Man. It's closing Man. soon, but it's good. Oh, Alex shit. Newell's in Damn, it. We I got an understudy go. that night. And the understudy was incredible. The next one that I saw is I just got back from Merrily We Roll Along. And that is why my credit card is out of commission. Because that was an expected to make it. Out of all those shows, how many phones do you think went off? How many phones went off? Like in oh. the theater? In the theater. One? Four out of four. I don't really every understand the show. question. Oh. Phone went up every single show. I was like, where's Patty LaPone? Why? Right it was insane. Did you get that one? No, that one. Edit it wow. out. It was insane. I was livid. I was like, Sh-. Josh Gad and Andrew Anellis actually made references to the phones going off in the show. They like incorporated it into the show. So I'm going to see a Broadway show recently. Uh, soon. I bought tickets for my wife for her birthday to see... Are you going to say it? Yeah, what is it? I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, the Barbara... Uh, Sweeney, Sim- Todd. Uh, Sweeney Todd. Sweeney so, Todd. Right and now so, with Andre Bucelli. No, and Andre Bucelli. No, it's the other Josh one. Josh Groban. That's right. So that's my wife's like, oh my God. Well, she don't know we're getting the tickets yet, but she like tagged well, me on it. Well, she does now. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't listen to the podcast. Um... <laughs> So, does, does Morgan listen to the podcast? Um, only when he thinks I'm up to something. Oh. <laughs> Melissa won't even listen then. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, she was like, uh, so she tagged me on Facebook, and she's like, did you see I tagged you on something on Facebook? And I was like, I don't know my password. Because I saw it, but I wanted to pretend I didn't. Right. So, she was like, oh, okay. And she was like, sad. Then I like wrote it in the Google Calendar, just wrote surprise on the day. Oh. So, she's like, babe, I really want to talk to you about something. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I have an idea for my birthday. I was like, I already got you a birthday present. And her birthday's next week so she's like you did because usually I wait till the morning of and then I buy her Broadway tickets but I always get her Broadway tickets but I wait so I said actually no this time I got you something prior it is Broadway tickets but she don't know so she's like I really want to see Sweeney Todd because Josh Groban's in it Groban? Oh no so Groban right? So, so, so she was like oh Josh Groban's in it and I'm like He's an actor. I didn't know what he was. I thought he was from the yogurt commercials. A yogurt commercial? He's in the yogurt commercials, right or wrong? That's the Dan and Kangaroo. <laughs> Josh Groban, correct me if I'm wrong, which I might be. Is Josh Groban, he sings... Just keep talking to the people as I look on Doesn't the he do something? World Wide Web. He does, there's one of these guys... Oh, Michael Bublé does those... <laughs> Seltzer commercials. The no, 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 no. We're going to give him credit. You're in like the right realm of sound. So I was like, isn't he the guy from the yogurt commercials? So most like Michael Bublé. I, I, mean, like, I, love, I love that I can literally see your brain connecting these dots. So like this is honestly like I'm getting a little emotional. So I was like, the guy from the yogurt commercial does mm-hmm. Broadway and she's like, you mean the guy who sings You Raise Me Up? And yeah. then she was like, then she like gets emotional about You Raise Me Up. I'm like, it was like six in the morning. I'm like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. I was like, what are we talking? I was just trying to take a shower <laughs> with my Sapo Body, body Sponge. Wait, my Sapo Body Sponge. Gasper's ass has never been cleaner. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. For those of you who listen to the podcast and you don't, and you just ended up here by accident, I recently started a skincare routine. And it's, I don't do it every day, but I've been putting, like, I put this black stuff on my nose. Those blackheads, right? Blackheads, yeah. So I put them on and I rinse. That's it, really. It's just, it really ends it. And I've been At lotioning. Least you are not using your hand anymore. <laughs> I lotion in the morning. I use, even when I'm in a hotel room, I use a rag. <laughs> and for the record, there are people in here who wash only with their hands. Please show me. Thank you. you know Give them the sapo. You know what you Give need since you still sapo. only wash Give with your hands? Give them the sapo. Right there at the Give them the sapo. So, you, that might or might not change your life because you wash the right way. You got the sapo for two reasons. One, because you need it. And two, because you were so close. Also, but my advice, don't use it on your face because it fucking hurts. It's very coarse. It's very coarse. So, like, when you're, it scratches, you get scratches all over your face. That's up to me to try it on my face. Thank you. Don't do it. Where were you going to try it? (laughs) And also, don't share it, you guys. You're dirty, you're disgusting. Yeah, and it makes a really good veil if you ever want to go collect bees. (laughs) 
Um, hey, hey, I, don't make fun. I love mine. I use it every day. We're going to get into the first email, and then we're going to take some from our live studio audience who joined us here at 30 Rock today. Um, let's get into the email, shall we? Um, also, yes. can I... It, I'm, can you give somebody who looks like they won't roofie me a bro, a bro, oh, Oh, look at you with those glasses and that Give him a sap of body sponge. Oh, you get a sap of body sponge. We don't have any more for you. Do you want a sap? Okay. No, we do. We do. We'll give you one. Anyway, after my blah, blah, blah goes down. Okay. Hi, I friends. my friend. First of all, congrats, Joe, on the special. Did you guys watch it? Yeah! Tony the Crans, it's doing really, really well. I thought, by the way, I thought that the comments were going to be ruthless. They were, I just like built that narrative up in my head. They weren't that bad. Did you see I was fighting with someone on Only there for you? Only one person called me a word that rhymes with baguette. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you guys, it's okay. It's only happened a few hundred times. Um, <laughs> did you see, though, I was fighting with someone? I was like, did you really? I was like, do you feel good about yourself? That's that what was I you? I mean, it's my name. Oh, that was... <laughs> yes, I was like, do you, you feel... You me up when I am... <laughs> eating yogurt. How's the rest of that song? When I am eating yogurt. Oh, I yeah. love Josh Groban. <laughs> Hi, friends. I do. I like his music now that I know who but he is. But the comments are overwhelmingly positive, and I think everybody who's watched it, it's it surpassed all of my goals. Oh, I have the funniest story for you. I have the right, funniest story. Email, really right? quick, really quick. So I made this post that was like, oh my God, we've broke all of my goals. I can't believe how well we've done. We've already broke a quarter million views. I'm so excited about this. And my manager called me and he was like, Joe, that's so crazy. How many views did you get? It was like a quarter million. He's like, that's so crazy because 25,000 and 250,000 are real different numbers. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Well, I watched it. That's why Morgan does the math. Um, I watched it in the background in my classes today, all day. That was very kind. For you. And I let my kids and write I'll all the it comments. And do for you when your secret project happens. Oh. oh, no, I forgot this is going on the internet. Here we go. I was like, oh, we can tell. Oh, no, we can't. Hi, friends. First, I'll tell you congrats, show. Joe, on the special. It was funny and well shot, and you looked like you had the time of your life putting that show on. Second, when I was listening to Gasper bringing up the list of worst places to go on a date, I literally screamed when I brought up my family functions. Don't worry about the names. We're not that important or have any sketchy things happen in our past. So without further ado, here's the story. Oh, wow. <clears throat> It's 2015, and my husband and I were just hanging out on out in the hanging out stage. Oh, by the way, I read this like I have a reading disability, which I did. Um, <laughs> he had tickets to go to a haunted house about two hours away. We were in rural junior college, so literally everything was at least an hour away. And he decided to finally ask me on a real date. The date was set for Halloween, which is our favorite holiday. Mariah Carey ain't got nothing on This Is Halloween. <laughs> and he told me to dress it. up for the fun of it all. I kept asking for more details, but he kept being pretty vague. So me being pretty extra as I am, I dressed up as a full-on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Leonardo to be exact, complete with green face paint and the shell stuffed with grocery snacks. He picks me up, he was a ninja in case you were curious, and we head to our merry way in his 1996 Honda Civic. Thank you for that detail. They are commonly stolen catalytic converters out of that. Yeah. <laughs> As we're driving, he asked me if it's okay if we stop by his grandpa's house because his grandpa always cooks chili on Halloween. I'm a broke college student and I have a captive audience and I respect the opportunity for free food. So it's no big deal and I go along. We pull into his grandpa's house and to my complete horror and astonishment, and what my husband, just a dude at this point who I was talking to and was maybe going to kiss later, forgot to tell me was that the chili thing at his grandpa's is actually a major family event. So not only were his parents and his siblings there, but his entire extended family. Yep, I met my then not quite yet even boyfriend's entire extended, sorry, I had a stroke just now, entire extended family fully dressed as a teenage mutant ninja turtle and 
to make matters worse, we had yet to define our relationship, so I had no idea what to call myself other than just his friend. So, the moral of the story, always double check where dinner will be held so you don't end up meeting his mom in green body paint. Thanks for the laughs and keeping me sane as I finish grad school. Love, Nicole. Well, she got married to the guy, so it worked. You know what's so awkward? You tell me. Like, when you're dating somebody, and you have to, like, do that it's been initial, a while for both of us. <laughs> you have to do that, like, initial, like, you don't know what they are, so you're like, this is my friend. And you're like, so my sister married her tattoo artist, right? So mm-hmm. for the first, like, six months of them dating, she never knew what to call them because they were just, like, talking. Mm-hmm. So, like, she would be like, this is my... Because she didn't want to say boyfriend because they weren't. So she'd be like, this is my tattoo artist and we were like you, you travel with him like wow. why but like think of like because like melissa met my whole family at my graduation party yeah what? yeah i was like hey come over and then i had a party but and had, i wanted to like you throw and, her into the fire but had you and melissa been dating a while when that happened uh, i don't know like easter and i like, graduated college in like may so <laughs> You know, Surprise! You know what's so crazy? Morgan month, and I, yeah. around one month when he met my family for the first time, was at my graduation. Look at us. Wow. Two lost souls. Just two lost souls. <laughs> Just so similar. Isn't that crazy? You listen to Michael Bublé. Crazy, crazy wild. And yes, Josh Groban and- at the same time. And Celine Dion. I like all those people. I just don't listen to them. Like, right Name one like, Celine Dion song. My heart will go on. Name another. <laughs> I promise I know one. If you hum... What? Oh, that's it's so all crazy, Gasparandazzo. You're such a good singer. <laughs> um, there are days in the night... And I know the video. She's like, there's like the winds blowing. She's like... Ah. like the, the picture goes flying. The picture does go flying. I saw the video. Uh, and then uh, she sings... Um, What's the first words of those songs? <laughs> There were nights with no uh, wind. No, the first words are, there's wow, thunder. there is nine to Celine Dion's here. <laughs> there's thunder strikes in the beginning, and she's, okay, okay I'm going to tell you guys why it. I know. I made one time every year for Abe Lincoln's birthday, I dress up like Abe Lincoln, so I shave my face, and I like do it up for Abe Lincoln, and every year I make a parody. Do it up for Abe Lincoln. I make a parody video of a song, and I'm it's me in the song as Abe Lincoln, and that was one of the songs. I was on a podcast that- today, and Abe Lincoln came up, is and we, there was a debate about this, and I don't think it's true. Was Abe Lincoln low-key gay? They, well, they say there he's, is a theory about this. I mean, you want me to tell you? Yes. I mean, they say he slept in bed with men. So but, gay. <laughs> no, but or I he think, later came out with it, a song, "Beat It." I'm gonna keep drinking. Oh. It was no. I think it was more of like a comfort thing. Yeah. No, like what oh, a wonderful thing. That's what we, all the colonizers said. We only we, sleep with each other for a comfort thing. No, like it was like this like, is we call it churning butter. It's just a comfort thing. No, no, no. It was like we. It, what happened was like the beds were smaller. They didn't have as many oh beds. My God. They, Big old Abe's over here, seven foot nine. He's like, hey, this four. bed's real small. Why don't you get your little ass over here, boy? So it's a comfort thing. It, <laughs> That's insane. No, no. And you want to see what's under this top hat, boy? <laughs> it's a comfort bang. That's amazing. Want to see my Lincoln log? <laughs> Come over here and take a look at this Lincoln log, no. boy. Do you know Mary what? Todd, get the hell out of this room. <laughs> well, he didn't want to sleep with Mary Todd. Exactly. But it was more of like a... They, they had a lot they, of was, That was an I'm a gay thing. <laughs> no, I don't think you... I think it was just like, hey, there's, there's only enough... <laughs> Room on the bed for the both of us. So he, so he didn't choose his wife. How straight? Uh, I don't know. Listen, Mary I Todd Lincoln there. also, he a even chose woman? a woman with Todd in her name. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell you. Do you know why he kept a tall hat? To keep his papers in it. Well, I asked Joe. Uh, <laughs> to, I'm just kidding. I'm just was kidding. It to keep his papers in it? Very good answer, Joe. What papers? All the numbers of the men he was sleeping with? <laughs> He would keep all the papers of important things. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, they don't even have phones. What yeah, phone he would just numbers? reach up in the hat and be like, what's so Jared Diaz? What's his house number again? Think Let about me go when, get him. Do you think when they made the first phone numbers, 
Like when they had it was, it was just the seven. first phone number when he had was Five. one. He's like, <laughs> it's like one. <laughs> Jebediah Zachariah, get over here under this top hat right now, because I'm gonna emancipate that proclamation. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Spread them. <laughs> um, Spread out we're going to free the slaves and that pussy, boy. <laughs> well, I don't know Spot about... Spot the line. <laughs> Abe Lincoln. Put him on a pride float. That is some no, shit. No, but did you ever see, like, the... <laughs> you ever see, like, the sexy Abe costumes? <laughs> you, do you know what I'm talking about? You know. They're not adorable. Just look up sexy Abe. Sexy Abe. Well, oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a <laughs> real extravagant. This is one of those you gotta look up when you go home. <laughs> the Wi Fi is gonna get uh, pinned. Or pinned. It, is, it, looks like, it looks like Playboy, but then the spread was Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Right, that's and what the this beard, is. Yeah, Sexy it's Abe. Babe Lincoln. They call Babe it. Lincoln. It's a common Original. thing. It's like furries, but yes, you so know there's common. a no. Every year in Illinois, there's an Abe Lincoln con, and I want to go, but I would be the youngest person by years. But it's all Abe Lincoln people go, and they hang out, and everyone dressed like Abe. It's just a full weekend of being. One hundred percent, we're going to Abe Lincoln con together. We have to do an Abe Lincoln con episode. It's, oh my god! No, it's in June. We're doing June. a live podcast at Abe Lincoln con. Yeah. Oh guys, I literally just typed in Abe Lincoln June. Yeah, but it'll come up. Abe Lincoln Con. Just so you know, Joe has 10 tabs open, just all with pictures of him. He's just Googling himself all day. <laughs> <laughs> Every tab he closes. It's called like an Abe Lincoln a, a Con, I think. <laughs> look up. Like, Abe Lincoln k- 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 Con. All right, while you look that up, I guys. Absolutely, I typed in Abe Lincoln Convention. It says the 1986 Republican <laughs> National Convention. No, different one. Well, while you look that up, but look it up. Illinois Abe Lincoln Festival. It, Illinois Try. with the S. We pronounce it now. You know, Illinois. Yes. No. Yes, don't with worry. S if your name is Gasper and Dazzo. I'll find it for you guys. Listen, okay, on the me. way here, right before I was leaving. Get your questions ready. Right, here. right before Sorry. I was leaving, I started thinking about tunnels because I never come into Manhattan, right? Because I hate Manhattan. Joe, did you know what a tunnel looks like when it's under the water? A hole? No. It looks literally like a toilet paper tube and it's like super long and it's just free floating in the water. With water in it? No, a tunnel. Did you ever drive through a tunnel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, how do they get it down there? There's gotta like when they they put must it, like build it and then like someone's like sucks the water out and gets it out and they like keep building I don't know Abe Lincoln the spirit <laughs> Abe sucks it up for him I don't know but I don't know how like today in school I was supposed to be teaching but I completely forgot and all day I was like on like a loop with bridges I was like. I looked at the kids. The kids are probably like, what the fuck does this guy think? And you've never smoked weed, never ever. No. I look at the kids, I go, guys, isn't it crazy how bridges work? And we were talking about the Great Wall of China. That's what led to it, because we were talking about China, which has no bridges. And we were like, I was like, isn't that crazy? So then I watched this whole video with the kids. They literally put this like pillar in the water. Then they, they take the water out, and then they dynamite. No, they, don't take the, they take the whole ocean out. No. They put like a... That's a great question. I don't know. They get the pillar high enough out of the water and they scoop the water out. It's people do it. I don't know how. I don't know all the logistics. I just know they scoop water and then they drop like dynamite. It fucks up the ground. Then they stick the tube That's in further. That's QAnon for you today, okay? That was... It was so cool. And the kids were fascinated. And then they were like, are we going to learn today? I'm like, shut the fuck up. Now we're Bridges, we're, shut we're, up. We're, now we're on tunnels. And then we watched the whole tunnel documentary. And then you're like, wait, you guys. You really want your mind blown? Abe Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> I do tell them that because kids always ask. It's a common question. To ask if Abe Lincoln yeah. was a homosexual. <laughs> they don't say that word, but yeah. That's they just say, like, was Abe gay? And I'm like, I don't know. I wasn't there. Do we have a crazy story that's two paragraphs or less from the back section of the room? We'll start there. Anyone? You do I see that little hand? Yeah, come. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Wait, do you want to stay a non or do you want to be 
not a nun. Okay, perfect. You know what? Why don't you just come and have a seat for a sec? You want to sit right us. here and tell us? Come join us. Oh, or you sure, can come sit yeah. next. You want to sit here? What's your name? Who are sit you? Here. Where are you from? What's Who are you? Oh, I'm awkward as fuck now. Now, where are you going to sit? No, I'm going to Here, you sit by me. Um, hi, I'm Sheila. Hi, hi Sheila. Sheila. How's it going? I'm, I'm good. Dr- uh, first of all, love this dress. Thank you, Tarjay. Tarjay. It's giving me, and this is not a read, it's giving me modern pilgrim, and I am into it. It was picture dance. Abe would have hated that. I love it, I love it, I love it. I had to be ready for picture dance. Oh, oh, so, oh, yeah. you're hey, looking good, girl. I love it. Thank you. So what's up? Um, so I'm a 10th grade teacher. I'm so sorry. Ooh, me too. <laughs> History. Ninth and ten. Oh, history? History, yeah. Were you doing China uh, today? Um, we <laughs> Probably Qing, not. Qing Dynasty, Qing Dynasty. Oh, that's a- what we a- were doing. AP World. I, well, we were talking about tunnels. There so, yeah. <laughs> I'm not allowed near AP classes. I'll ruin them. <laughs> so, I used to... So, this is my 15th year teaching. Damn, Ooh. Sheila. Sheila, I thought you were like 23 years old. the found a youth, I, girl. I 40, God damn. I'm 42. 42? <laughs> Get out of here. Sheila? No. I'm 42. She, I was I was like in my head construing my like first year teacher jokes. Like that's crazy, Sheila. Good for uh, yeah, you. 1981. Hey. Um, okay, so I used to teach in Manhattan um, with my friend Jenny in the back. Hey, Jenny in the back. I'm Jenny from the back. From the back. <laughs> yep. See, you like that reference? That was good. Um, I've been waiting for that. <laughs> I think it was maybe like my fifth year teaching. I te- I taught ESL. Um, for a few years. In English is a English second language a second for language the models in the room. The, for those non-ed people. Um, and I was staying late at school because I always do. Um, and for whatever reason, you know how sometimes la mano de Dios just like Absolutely, la mano you? de Dios, of course. <laughs> Does that, of course. The hand of God just oh, kind of like uh, guides you to something. Um, and I was in the hallway, and for whatever reason, I decided to go into the classroom next to mine. And as I turn the key, I hear kind of like a thump. <laughs> and I was like, that's a really big rat. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. So I go in, and um, it was dark, and it just kind of had like this interesting smell wait was the rats it were having sex or people were having sex wait we didn't even establish sex she is just said interesting rats? smell <laughs> who's well, having sex well, with a rat was it a thump or was it a quick clap 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 I don't know no 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 it was definitely something cause when I turned the key like something was like oh, oh like, like they yeah, were stopping yeah, the, the sex yeah, with the rats yeah yeah so <laughs> rat sex no cause rats don't stop <laughs> They so, want the audience. Did you ever see Ratatouille? <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, chill. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So you just like, I just had a, the whiff and I was like, okay. And, <laughs> a subtle, a subtle <laughs> waft of us. They must have That's not been great. using their sapo body sponge. So I turn on the lights. Now, they are, uh, I turn on the lights. I didn't see any, I didn't, there was nothing there. You were looking. Hold on, hold on. Because I was like shaking, right? But again, la mano de Dios. Right? Okay. So so I turn on the light, and then I go by the teacher's desk. And this was like an old, like, converted um, science. Catalytic. Science room. (laughs) Science room. So there was, like, this long science table. Yeah. And, um. (laughs) Hold on. We got to get to the punch. We got to get there. So then I'm, like, by the teacher's desk, and then I look down, and I see legs. (laughs) Human or rat? (laughs) And then a little tail. <laughs> and then a shirt. Hairy legs. Which, oh. with, um, you know, How many? Shorts, Four hairy shorts. legs. Just two. Just oh, two. damn. Just two. And um, I was like, hello. And then I'm just like backing away because I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then I'm like, where is she? Because I know who they were. Because the school was 400 students. Oh, it was so just students. Was just... These are students. Oh. <laughs> well, you're going to get us canceled. Thank you for this child oh, story. Oh, oh, Here's the thing. I don't exactly know what was happening. I mean, I can probably I tell was you. Like, um, <laughs> Context clues. And I was like, you walk over here. And I'm just like kind of walking away. And I'm like, oh, it's after school. Is anyone here still? So then yeah, I walked to the um, principal's office. And thankfully, the principal was there. You ratted them out? 
Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is my job on the line. <laughs> oh, you're not, you're but, right. But but this was yeah. This, this was my crazy I didn't story see shit. around my fifth or sixth Sheila, year. Sheila, give it up for Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. There's, thank you for Sheila, sharing. Sheila, here. There's your sapo. Your sapo, sapo. I lost the wire. Oops, sorry. I'm not trying Thank to you, end Sheila. up canceled. So I do have a confession to make. I so I I do think that's weird about teaching high school. I don't know that I ever could, mainly because no. of like the sex and the PTA and stuff no. like that. But I do I did wait do the it. sex and the what? Yeah, and the P like the PDA the PDA. Oh PDA. <laughs> they said the PTA. The PTA. I'm like no parents give a I, shit. I, I the best. I I lost my virginity in my high school. Inside my high school as well, just like Sheila's friends. Yeah, Sheila could have caught you actually. Isn't that wild? She's but I, but too. Liter- that's and why she would have ratted your ass I out. I can't teach high school because of people like me. Uh, it is. It, it's hard because like they're like real people. No, they're they're, they're no, they don't like want to be real people. No, they're not like, yet real. Some people. of them are like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. No, it's 22. In New York City, they can go to high school till the. No, no, no. It's it's 21 and a half. Thank you. We have an administrator here. So, in 20, as long as they are 21 on September 8th, the day that the first day of school starts, if they turn 22 the next day, they can ride out the full school year. So there are 22 year olds, and I started teaching. I was 22. I was like, hey, and they were like, hey. I'm like, we're the same age, but I make sixty thousand dollars more than you. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, no, it's so crazy. it is hard. It, it, that is a weird... And, like, sometimes, like, I'll go out. I mean, I don't really go out anywhere because I don't have a catalytic converter anymore. But <laughs> when I had a car that I could drive, if I went to a bar, like, there would be students sometimes because they were, like, 18, 19. So, like, I was like, oh, shit. And they'd be, like, working behind the register. They're like, mister, I don't even drink. So they're like, what do you want? I'm like, water. They're like, you don't have to do that for me. I'm like, I do it for me. <laughs> thanks. No, you don't have to awe me like I'm a little kid. No, that's adorable. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> no, I just, I get, I just, it's, yeah. All right. There's an email about someone bought a Sappo body sponge because of us. That's pretty great. This one's called Sugar Plum Fairy Princess. That's what Abe used to be called. <laughs> Come here, Sugar Plum. I do have this new joke, though. Can I try it? No, because this is going on the podcast. Um, I, like, forgot we're recording the podcast. Well, like, I'm like, oh, well, here's the, the secret. Nah, will you? I'll save it, because I'm coming back, and I'm doing town hall next year. Uh, like the actual town hall? Mm-hmm, yeah, it, Gabe Lincoln's town hall. What up, Is Joe it a and, venue? It's a venue here in New York City. Back to me. Um... What's up, Joe and Gasper? Love you guys, and you are the. What? She wrote the email. Oh, oh! You come up wrote and tell Sugar it. Plum, the Sugar Plum. Fairy come princess. up and tell it. Oh my God! Are you Shauna? Oh my God, Shauna, get over here. Get on stage. Get on stage. Get on stage. Get. On stage. get. How crazy is that? How crazy is See, that? See, guys, look, you can and write emails and Shana, end up with stuff. Do you want to know something crazy? Hi, Sean. Oh, I, I'm... I actually went. I can move my shit for you. I went back in. I Hi, just Shana. went like three pages back, and I was like, "This one looks cute." Come sit. Okay. Well, we all know you're Shauna. Where are you from? Hi, everyone. I'm from Long Island. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, grab I'll this be in Long Island. Pages. I know. I'm coming. Twelve twenty-nine. Oh, cool. I'll be look there. Okay, It'll Shauna. Be I want to do this because I want to read it. I want to read it in front of you. So this is me being you. Okay. Wait, but read it as Shauna. Okay. What up, Joe and Gasper? I love you guys. You are the only thing that gets me through without the grueling traffic from Queens to Suffolk County. Suffolk. Suffolk. Oh, God. Suffolk. That's a disease. It's just Suffolk. Potato padildo. Josh Groban, Bublé. Suffolk County, every day. Gasper, I'm sure you n- are well-versed in terrible New York rush hour traffic. My friends and I are so excited to see you in New York on November 8th. Woo! Here we are, Shauna. Okay, Wait, November 8th. Oh, that's today. Today. All day. I'm like, that's not the date of the okay, show. Okay, Shauna, you say it's a funny story from a few years back, um, from many years ago, that you work, you're a musical therapist, a music therapist. So can you explain that really quick? So, 
basically, I work in a children's hospital. Oh, and I oh use, wow. Yeah, so I use Thank music you. to help kids cope throughout their hospitalization. That's you sing? cool. It is very cool. Do you it's sing? It's very interesting. Yes, I do. But sing. what's really interesting <laughs> is <laughs> my heart will go on. Oh, you like really sing. That's so pretty. The girl in Titanic might be leaving, so maybe it's you. Maybe I can fill it. Maybe it's you. So then, um, childhood dreams. So you Josh sing Josh Groban's also children. leaving. <laughs> I don't know, but he sings. So but. what's Sugar Plum Fairy Princess? Okay, so a few years ago, so I was working as a music therapist in a um, like District 75, wow. New York City public school, of course. where they had a vision, they had a vision classroom, and so I didn't really think about too much about what I should wear because I was wearing, I was, I was, you know, working in a classroom that was with vision. Um, it was kids who were blind or visually impaired. Oh, right, right, right. So I didn't think too so much. So there actually, it was a classroom with no vision, right? Technically. It was a classroom of no vision. Right. So you like, fuck however, it, you just wore however, pajama pants so every day? Like, well, She just walks day, in, she's like, hey everyone, I'm impeccably dressed right now. I am so amazing, right. So I actually walked in and I didn't realize that the sweater that I was wearing had like all of these little like pom-pom pearls so i became the tactile stimulation and got pumped up the entire time (laughs) didn't think about that should have probably thought about that a little bit you love you learn shauna give yourself some grace i gotta wear that around my house (laughs) for my wife (laughs) oh my gosh they're on amazon shauna back to i like how everyone's just like selling their shit up here they're like target amazon i mean mean, literally like maybe i should be selling a sample body sponge or something i do like that you're gonna get one well no actually you're gonna get because you sang you're actually gonna get a sweatshirt oh you're getting the merch you're gonna get a sweatshirt all right who else is a singer up here you get the most no no it was just for you oh okay so shauna so (laughs) we can't get away all over your your titties so i I, you know all the kids are like oh shauna nice to meet you i'm like oh my god stop touching (laughs) me um but then so after that after that they tell me they're like miss shauna you look like a fairy sugar plum like all of this kind of stuff i'm like that's so wonderful you can't see yeah. What does this look like? So I was just wondering what you guys thought a sugar fairy, fairy plum, fairy plum princess looks like. Well, you're sitting next to her right now. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I know. I read it in my YouTube comments. Um, a sugar plum fairy princess. Well, mind you, um, mind she's... you, pay for two. Okay, about so six, amazing. seven, beard, top hat. <laughs> What about Sleeps you? comfortably with men. Uh, what would you say? In a I'm, twin bed. I'm thinking of Katy Perry when she wore all that ice cream on her body. Oh. You know, that could be a really good one. I yeah. think this is yeah. Circa like yeah. seven, eight years ago. So I think this that would track. And you did say Shauna. We can use your real name. Give it up for Shauna, everybody. Yeah! And now we're going to use the real Shauna. So Joe, Shauna, ask us after. We'll give you the sweatshirt. Okay. Right. Thank you. Aww. Or you can just go get it. That's the new merch, everybody. You can thank our Patreon members at patreon.com slash the social studies podcast for that design. They picked the color, sandstone. Um, sandstone so wait, Joe, because I have... they specifically said they did not want, we were going to do white. We thought you guys would like white. And they all bitched at us. And they were like, no, you're not doing white. You'll be able to see our breast milk as we lactate, as the sounds of screaming babies happen around us. They said that. So weird. Um, so, wait, Joe, I have to tell you something cool. Tell us. Where right. are we at on time? We're about to like get the light soon, I think, right? No. I think I'm right. Well, yeah, I'm definitely right. Okay, tell it's me not us choosing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. All right, so you know I used to, I used to interpret. For those who don't know, I'm, I know sign language. And part of the interpreter program that I did, we had to work with deaf-blind people. And we went to the Helen Keller Institute in Long Island. Oh, for, shit, we just for got For those of you who know. And we actually had to work with it. This isn't like a funny story. It was just cool. And like they closed their eyes and they would sign into my hand. Like this, like W-A-T-E-R. So, yes, Helen Keller. That's, yeah. Yes, that's from the movie. And um, it was that's from the movie. I wasn't making a joke about it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here's your text for your sign language, okay? What am I spelling right now? I t- do it again. I'm oh, I T G I R L. You know I am that girl. <laughs> All right, it girl. It's a call. It's a Gen Z because I'm such a young, supple female, so I know. It girl. It girl. Yeah, it's, it, the song's called It Girl. You've heard it. It's on a TikTok. song. Yeah, it's like I T G I R L. You know I am that girl. Yeah, we have very different TikToks. <laughs> Anyway, my TikTok shows, uh, you know, that sports clips that I watch on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Did you get those? I do all the time when you send them to me. I'm just like, oh, look at that ass. 
Is that Abe Lincoln? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, oh, oh, so anyway, so the guy was deaf and blind, so we, I brought him back with me. I didn't, like, kidnap him. He, like, came with me a few days later. He came to my class and talked to the kids, and they were, like, asking all these crazy questions. They were like, what do you dream about? And I was like, holy shit. Whoa, and then what I was do like, they dream about? And then I was like, whoa, like, answer it to the guy. I was like, because I wanted to know, too. And he's like, I dream in feelings. Whoa. And, because he's deaf and blind. So he's like, I don't dream in, like, things. He's like, I dream in feelings. Was he signing in something? He was signing into my hand. Oh, fuck. Well, I was, I was signing into his hand. He was signing outward. That's he, amazing. I don't, and he was saying, like, I dream in feelings. I'm like, wow. I was like, well, and then I drove him home. And then he touched my car and he signed nice car. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, how do you know that? Did you ever see the guy on Oprah a long, 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 long mm-hmm. time ago? And he was blind, too. And he found his way through a maze yes. like a bat. Yes. And he would literally go... Yes. And he would know where to go, and he would, like, not bump into walls and stuff. Yeah, yeah he was like, yeah. echolocation, like a dolphin. Really? Yes, straight up. Straight up. He would hear it. Oh, he would cool. hear it, and it would come back to him. Well, and, the, and you know what else they asked? They said, and then I had a deaf girl there, too, and they were like, oh, do you dream in hearing? So she asked the kid, like, do you hear in your dreams? And she was like, oh, do you hear Chinese when you dream? And the kid was like, no. And she's like, exactly, I never heard. If you don't speak Chinese, you can't dream in Chinese. Just like, I don't, I don't know what hearing sounds like. I only dream in sign language. I was like blown away the whole time. I just stood there with my jaw dropped. I was like, and then I was like, who wants to see a tunnel? <laughs> who wants to see hey, how bridges are made? You guys, if you want to come see me live, you can come see me live. You can get your tickets for all of my live shows at mrdtimes3.com. Also, check out my, you can start the end music. And you can, you can, we got the light, you guys. We have to go. Oh, we're going to be back there taking pictures with you. Yeah, we're going to hang out. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Someone we will bring hang me out. a beer. I'll drink it. Um, get your tickets to see me live at mrdtimes3.com. Also, go watch the special Don't Eat the Crayons on YouTube. And I will be in Long Island uh, December 29th and December 30th. And then I'll also be doing six shows in Connecticut and six shows in New Jersey in the spring. New so, York, we fucking love so, you. Thanks for thank coming. You guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget your charges. Don't forget your